Alrighty guys, um, we've had some really big tides coming in, some high wave power, and uh, we're gonna try and fish it. Carolina rig, if I see a lot of birds and maybe there's signs of striper in the water, I might change it up. Nothing crazy, like they're just like frequent sets coming in. So I'm gonna just really quickly show how I set up my uh, my rig and how I do it. I know there's been plenty other videos before, but if anyone is watching this video and you're like, I don't even know how to get a rig for the ocean set up, I'll just quickly show you how I do mine. All right, so in terms of uh, tackle, what you're gonna need is uh, some really basic stuff. So my line, main line is uh, about 20 pound braid, it might be 30 pound braid. And then you're gonna need a bead, a swivel of some kind, a, uh, an egg sinker, some leader. So I'm using fluorocarbon leader about three and a half feet and your hook. For these uh, sandworms and the paddle tails, I'm using this bait holder hook because they have these little barbs on the top to help uh, keep the bait um, staying on. You can't really see it, but they're there. They help keep the bait on the hook, and this is a size four. All right, guys, so here's the rig so far. You got your sinker, your weight, a bead, which is protecting the uh, knot that's connected to your swivel your swivel to your um, leader, I guess. And then uh, you're gonna go down to your hook. So the knots that I've been using is just, I call them a fisherman's knot. I think they're officially called like a double, double clinch knot, something like that. But it's the easiest knot that I know how to. I'm trying to show you those barbs. Maybe you can see them or not. Um, but it's super simple. And it's what I've been using my whole life. I'm still trying to learn all those fancy knots, but uh, it doesn't really matter which way you go in, but you're gonna go through the eyelet of the hook. And then what I like to do is I kind of, I hold it, the hook with my fingers here, so then I have these two available. And then you're just gonna wrap it around the main line five to six times. So that's two, three, four, five. And then I like to go down for my knot, so don't, without letting this come undone and you need to keep the tension here because if I let go it's just going to spin and come undone but you're going to go back through the this loop that you created here where my thumb is okay so once you're through like so now you have another loop up here go back through and then hold this tension okay you don't want to lose this tagline now that you have it okay so what I'll normally do is I'm gonna I'm gonna wet this with my saliva because when you pull a knot tight it creates tension and that heat can weaken your line and potentially have it uh, more easily break off so I'll wet this and then all you do to uh, cinch it down is you're gonna pull on this end but I like to hold this with my teeth so I'm gonna do that real quick There. And then you can kind of dress it up by like pulling on this main line. But that's the knot right there. And then you're gonna clip your tag in. All right, and I'm ready to go. Uh, the only other thing I'm gonna do is um, take the barb off the hook. I just use my pliers. The barb that I'm taking off is this one right here, the main one, because that's uh, that's the biggest issue that's keeping the hook. If you're trying to keep fish, leave the barb. If you leave a barb, you're gonna um, more easily continue to stay hooked on. So I'm gonna, I'll probably lose some fish today, but that's all right. I'd rather lose a fish than gut hook one when I'm not trying to keep it, you know. Um, so yeah. That's the, uh, that's the setup, and then the bait. I'll have some sandworms, and then some of these crappie sliders, like paddle tail things, so I'm gonna try both of them out today, see which one works better.
We just gotta find where these fish are. Hopefully not too much uh, vegetation in the water. I'm basically giving it just a constant retrieve. I cast out, but a slow retrieve. You know, and if I feel a fish nibbling, I'll kind of stop until I feel like a good tug and then I'll try and set the hook. Oh, well, we got bit. We lost a part of our bait already. These perch are known for just stealing bait. First fish of the day. Little, small perch, but man, I'll take it. Nice little small perch. But it's good to be back out in the water. All right, so I extended the leader a little bit and I added, so my braid was messing with my line just because the braid was wrapping around fluorocarbon, acting all funky. Man, slow day. A couple bites in the morning, about an hour ago now, I'd say. All right, maybe I'm just casting way too far. Perch normally are within like 50 feet of shore, so. Let's see if there's any of them cruising. Oh. Yep, there we go. These guys are the culprits when I'm losing my bait all the time. That feels a little better. Definitely a perch. Ooh, but the best perch of the day. Nice. Nice size perch. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice and close to shore. Okay. Another little small guy. All right. Well, he's no 
number five, I think. Five fish today, not bad. This is the hook set. <laughs> oh man, I keep missing these hook sets. I just switched spot and that was my first cast. Another okay size perch. Got me with the spine, but good one. All right. Well, that is going to be it for today's video. I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, but I just wanted to get out to the beach and not get skunked, and I think I accomplished that. A bunch of little small perch, and then two okay size perch. Nothing, nothing big by any means. But from looking down the beach and seeing the other fishermen out here today, it seemed just like a slow day all around. And uh, I wish I had more time, but I got to uh, take care of some stuff in the afternoon. I would have continued probably fishing all day long just because it is starting to get to low tide and I um, really enjoy fishing low tide, switching to on coming in tide. So we'll hopefully get back out there again soon when the uh, tides line up in the morning. But uh, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bonus fish. Everyone loves a good bonus fish. The outro was said, but the perch were still biting. Another little small guy. Yeah.